Hi, this is Raylene with Raylene Creates. Today, I have a special video. I will be putting together a war binder for a one of my patrons who is a dear friend of mine. And um, I've been doing a lot of custom war binders. And so this one is going to be really, uh, really special to me to do. Uh, and so I, what I thought I'd do is share the journey with you. Uh, I've done a flip through. If you haven't seen a flip through of this one, I will link it above. If you want to see uh, what I plan to do for this war binder, stay tuned. So thank you so much for, for joining and today, and thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your subscription. Um, those of you that are supporting the channel, I truly appreciate you. Um, those of you that have come over from Instagram, uh, Facebook, or wherever, I really appreciate you so very much. So as you know that I do have a Patreon, and uh, the link is in the description if you're interested in it. And so... Um, what I am going to do is I've had a lot of requests for war binders and so uh, the and I, if you have not seen any of my flip throughs I will um, my most recent one I will link it above so that you'll see um, what a war binder is basically if you remember the movie war room which is one of my absolute favorite movies and um and so it it's basically i believe that we fight our battles on our knees everything that we go through it is it is a battle but a battle that we've already won because christ died so that we would have um the victory so um so this war binder is one that i put together as i mentioned and a lot of little things, little touches here and there that I did when I was creating this one. This is my own personal one from from the beginning of 2020. And, um, and so I, I just wanted to kind of show you exactly, um, you know, what the war binder is. Now, for me, the thought of it is a place for you to, um, to write scripture, to, to pray, to journal, to be uh, great, grateful, and all of those things. So I, one, one of my dear friends who is also um, one of my patrons, a very good supporter of this channel, uh, Audrea, shout out to you, girl. I appreciate you, um, uh, wanted one. And so I decided as a part of her, her Patreon, uh, I would do this special Christmas gift. This is a part of her Christmas gift and her Patreon uh, gift for her. And... Um, so, and I'm going to do her slightly different. And here's the thing about war binders. They are, they need to be or should be for you, customized for you. Uh, I have not done one that is exactly the same. Because for me, I knew what I wanted. I knew what I needed. I, as I'm doing it, uh, I'm praying and asking God to show me things that, that, um, will bless me at that time and the others that I've done and, um, the one that I've just done recently, you know, she kind of gave me an idea and I kind of went with it. So they're all slightly different. And so for Audrea, this one just stood out when I found it. This is a guided faith journal, okay? Um, and I think I may have mentioned before, Audrey and I do uh, devotionals daily together. And so this one I thought was really would be something to go along with uh, her daily devotional time. Okay, I already know that she spends time in the Word every day. Um, she spends time praying. And so, and this is one that I thought would be a blessing for her. Uh, this one, and I bought this from Joann's, and it's called Grace for Today. And uh, over here, it says 2 Corinthians 9 and 8, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that ye always having all sufficiency, 
in all things may abound in every good work. And I'm so, I love good works, everything that has to do with that. So this one's really cool. It is not a, a, uh, a daily planner where it has calendars in it. Could you add them to that? Yes. Okay. Um, what if I was, if this was for me, I would, love this and I would just date it as I go. I think sometimes when it, when you're using the um the ones that have the calendar pages and when I say calendar pages I mean like this it kind of makes you feel like if you miss a day that you didn't done something wrong and God doesn't want us to be gu feeling guilty for uh or or feel like we're doing a job by spending time with him. So I, I kind of like this one because, you know, you can allow yourself to give yourself some grace if you aren't able to do it every day. And so here's what, and it's really pretty. I mean, I just love it. So here is practicing spiritual discipline so she can put her week number, whatever week she's doing. If she skips a week, that's cool too. Okay, so this week I will focus on this discipline and it gives her a list of them. Scripture reading, prayer, worship, scripture meditation, fellowship, serving, learning, stewardship of time and money. And me and her have been talking a lot about that one. Scripture application, fasting, silence and solitude or journaling. So she can pick one of these, okay, to focus on or more than one. And then it has a daily tracker down here at the bottom and then a memory verse to hide in her heart, okay? So each one of these pages, okay, so that was for the week overview. And then for each day, there's a place for her to script, write her scripture, her prayer. I'm seeing God's hand in this. Today, I'm finding hope in this. What is one simple joy I experienced today? So there's some gratitude and list three blessings for the day, okay? Over here is a little different, okay? Different day. Uh, she can, like I said, circle Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, but it gives her an opportunity to uh, do this at her own pace, uh, along with her Bible journaling or her, I mean, her, um, her devotional time. And then right here, who can I encourage today? Today, I'm rejoicing in this truth, praising him for simple gifts. And I'm so grateful for. So those pages kind of actually, no, there's more over here. These pages are different. And uh, what answer pair, three joys. This is three blessings, three joys, simple truth, three people that need a little encouragement. So these are really nice. Uh, I might have to get me one of these, girlfriend. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the only thing when you make them for somebody. It's like, uh, what about me? I want one of these too. And so, and then, so there's one, there's those pages there. And then there's, a dish, there's a blank page here for whatever she needs to write, okay? And then there's a scripture at the bottom. We love because he loves us, okay? So there are all of those pages in each section. And then there are four sections. And um, now what I love about this one is because they're not calendar pages, when I put this book together, I can move these pages together. So I could, and I'm still thinking, that's why I'm doing this with you. You're kind of going on the journey as I'm thinking through this. I could put all of those together and then have another section where she put her prayer list or whatever it is that, that you know, uh, she wants to do. So I'm kind of thinking about that as I go along. Okay, so this one says, delight yourself, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart, Psalms 37 and 4. So uh, the pages are still the same. This one says grace for today, and this one is just like the cover. Okay, and it has 2 Corinthians 9 and 8 again. And then another section, it says, walk by faith. And it says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Second Corinthians 5 and 7. Okay. Now, you know that I'm not just going to give this to her like that, right? Me, the whole war binder thing. So, um, I am going to customize this to be a war binder for her. Okay. So, what I do have here is a faith companion pack, which... I will be adding 
to this, okay? And let me open this real quickly. And I think I used the same one in the last war binder that I did. So if you wanna check that one out, you feel free, but I love this one. And it actually goes with it, Grace for Today. Previously, I found this one, a, um, the accessory pack, but I never found the journal. So when I found this journal, I was like, oh my God, I got to get that. So I had both of them. So they go together. And then, so they have additional pages, okay, that I will be adding to this journal to make it more of a war binder, okay? And so let me go here real quick and I'm throwing away. Okay, let me show you the pages. So it does have these cards and I will make a pocket for her to keep all those in. And here are some of the pages. These are um, memory verses, prayer lists, I'm so grateful for. Here's her spiritual, spiritual reading, her quiet time. So these are other pages. And so more than likely, and let me show you because I know that it splits right about here. Okay. And these are truth and walking. I will probably put them in their own section behind a divider. And then, then they also have extra paper in here so that she can journal, do whatever she needs to use. These pages can be pulled out. That's one of the, the good things about Happy Planner is that you can move them any ways you want. I might put them in one section. She might need it another way. Okay, so that's that. It also came with a bracelet uh, um, that says have faith, uh, truth, walk in truth. And so I will be giving her that. In addition, and these will also be added. She'll also be getting uh, some stickers that came in the accessory kit. And so I will probably make, because I don't think this one have one, I will probably make, and, and these are ideas, guys. If you guys got other ideas, put them in the comment. Let me know what your thoughts are, what you think I should do. Uh, of course, Audrey, I'm quite sure she's going to tell me what she's what she's thinking. I I think I did it in this one. Let me see. Okay. Yes, in this one, I created a pocket. So, and it, this is obviously a a, um, uh, a half, um, I don't know what it's called, classic, half classic or whatever. Okay, so I will be making her one. I made this one. So I was thinking about making her a pocket and then putting these stickers in these pockets here. Uh, what I'm trying to do now is um, decide on my color scheme. I kind of like the purple and um these colors kind of get to go together there and so i'm gonna see if i can have some some uh paper to kind of coordinate with it so i'll make her a pocket to have those in so she can put whatever she needs additional stickers in i um and i'll come back to this in a second let's go continue to go here there's also this dashboard in the other one i use this one to actually put right here Okay, and it was the cover page and then I put her name here. So the question is, do I use this one and put her name here or do I just use this one and put her name here? Or the thing about this one is this is a divider. This could be her cover page. I'm just thinking out loud. Give me your thoughts, guys. Okay, uh, so um, that's kind of what I'm thinking and put her name here. She still needs to let me know what she wants there. Of course, like mine. Um, when I did this one, this was the, one of the first ones that I did. I I use sticker, but I I have started where I use my, um, my Cricut. And so I put um, vinyl on them. And so I will be putting her name there. I, because of the way this one's made, I can probably also put her name here. It's up to her if that's what she wants. Some people don't like their name on the outside. It, it, you know, so that's something that we can, that I can do there. So isn't this a great kit? Okay. In addition, it, they also have what is, I believe this is called, let me see what this is called. 
Okay, this is a dry erase board. We're growing in his grace and asking in prayer and singing praises. So she can talk about, it's almost like that currently page in your in your happy planner. Uh, and so she can rejoice in, opportunity to serve, blessed by. And she can use this over and over again using a white er um, uh, a erase pen. Okay, and then on the back here is the spiritual disciplines again, where she can put one for every, you know, when she wants to write. And so I'll be adding that as well. This is a folder. Now, I don't know if she'll need this. I honestly, you guys got me thinking here. I might be able to make a pocket out of this. Hmm, guys. I think that's what I'll do. I may cut this up and make a pocket. Isn't it the same size? Yeah. Okay. So give me your thoughts. What you think? Should I use this as a pocket? What I'm thinking is, is um, it's kind of already done and I can, yes. And I'll, yeah. Okay. If you want to see me do that, let me know. Okay. I want to hear from you guys. Okay. So and again, I have, and I think I have one in this one again. I might as well just go ahead and show you this. There's already a flip through of this, so I don't want to go to too much of this one. So there is a pocket. I will be putting a pocket in the front of this one. Now, this one, and she'll be the first one to get them. I have taken, uh, I don't know if you guys know that I'm an author. Uh, I have a book called As I Encourage You, I Encourage Myself. And uh, that book is available in my store. But um, we have been designing, my team has been designing um, um, devotional cards from my book. Okay. So um, Audrey will be the first one to get some of those. And so what we've done is we've taken quotes from my book, uh, encouragements. And also if you're following me on um on Raylene Speaks um, on Facebook, you'll see that I post daily devotionals that come from my book or, or um, writings that I'm doing on a daily basis. And so what we've done is we have incorporated those into devotional cards. Okay. And those devotional cards are what I am going to also add to Audrey's planner. So this is kind of special, for, you know, because this is the first time that um, I've used these. And these will also be available in my store really quickly. And so if you want to see more of them. And we're going to have, um, they're uh, based upon my, my branding color. So we have three color schemes. So I want you to vote. Okay, again, you see the colors. Okay. And um, so this one is the green which is my favorite because I love green, okay? And then this one is also, this is my Raylene Creates branding. And so, and you'll notice that we have, we left a blank one so that you could write your own encouragement. So what I generally do is when I do these, I say when, when you need to pick me up or when you need a, a word or words of encouragement, pull a card. And that's what I was doing here is pulling a card here. And these, I actually, I may have purchased these from someone online. So instead I said, well, why don't I use some from my book? And so I am literally, uh, we've created these and th right now I'm only showing you because these are sneak peeks guys. I'm showing you the same three that are in different formats. Okay. So green, or this one, and I'll show you how they'll look in the other ones. All right. And then this one is stop stressing when you feel, when you don't feel worthy, remember. Okay. Um, this one says it's inside of you. Um, that comes straight from my book. Try tapping into the spirit to seek what's deep inside you when God created you. So these are, um, I, I'm going to love using these for myself, but I'm going to use these for Audrea first. So these two colors, I think, go. And this is my Raylene Speaks branding colors. And um, again, if you're in my group, Women Growing on Purpose, you've seen this branding all over the place because we post these on a regular basis. So, um, so these devotional cards are in my Raylene Speaks. Um, branding. So all of these are still kind of in my color scheme for my branding. 
So let me show you. Okay. I kind of think both of them, both of these, I don't think the blue. Okay. That's just me. Okay. I think the green can go. And I also think that this one can go. If you look at the color schemes. Okay. See the green in there and see this one here. Okay. All right. Again, vote. Tell me which one, or I can put a combination of both. Now, remember, these are only the, the first prototype, so there will be more cards that are going to be in there. So I could put a mixture of these two together, um, and, and that would be awesome um, for uh, her to be able to use, but I think that would have... And then I'm also... There is going to be another prototype that are going to be smaller where... Um, um, you can get six on a page and that way I think that there will be a little bit for a pocket page. I'm still kind of working on that, but these are working this one. I believe the smaller ones will fit in the mini as well as the pockets in this one. So that is to come. So you want to make sure that if you're not subscribed to uh, railingspeaks.com, go ahead and subscribe so that you'll be able to get a lot of these things that I'm I'm coming out with. Okay. So these are my Railing Speaks uh, devotional cards that I will be placing in these as well. Okay. Um, I don't want this video to get too long, but I wanted to, to see what you thought. Now, the question still is, okay, and I need you to comment in the, in the comments to let me know if you want to see the journey or would you just want to wait and see the end results? Okay, the journey may be several videos because I have to put things together and I'll show you where I'm at, where my progress is, and then the final. Okay, so it'll be several videos. I know a lot of people say, well, I, I want you to show me how to do it or whatever else. And so if that's what you want, come on, comment, talk to me, let me know what you want. And, um, and then, so let me show you some other things that I am contemplating putting in. So I've already talk, talked about that. I always put one of these cards in and it really depends upon her. When I start, when I start going through it and I start thinking about it, I'm praying, I'm thinking about her and what God is revealing to me to bless the person that I'm making it with. So I will uh, definitely be adding one of these cards here. This one had an envelope and I'm not sure why I put an envelope here, maybe because I just had it. Um, so, uh, I'm not sure about envelopes yet. I also, um, want to put, if you'll notice that the rings are different. Okay. These are, and I keep wanting to say, are these the metal, metal rings, metal rings. And I have not been able to find them at Joanne's lately. Uh, so if I can find them, I will replace the, the disc with, uh, metal rings. Um, so that, because it just looks a little bit more classy to me. Thoughts, metal, plastic, metal or plastic. Okay. I'm just kidding guys. All right. So, and then, um, again, her name plate. Obviously, I always give a um one of not one of these, but I I make these. Oh, here's one. Okay, here's one. And so I will probably be making more that match specifically this one. So because I I'm running out of this color, I have a lot of purples left, and so um I made a lot of these, and so um. So she'll be getting that. I think she may have already had one of those. And so, um, and I will, well, there's already some note cards. I'm not sure about the song sections. Let me go back a section. I'm going too fast here. Okay. Um, I will create her a, um, this is what I use for my vision board. I will create a place like this for her to write and journal in using some of the pages that are inside of here. I, I will make her a pocket um, and realize how blessed you are. I have some cards like that I can do. Um, this one was, huh, I used, I did these. These were just cards that I, I normally just kind of place and I have not really been writing in them lately. But these are all 
kind of nice. And basically, I ask her for some favorite scriptures. And if I'm able to do that, I can add some her favorite scriptures to some pages so that she can write and journal about those. Okay. And so that, and then this one is, I will definitely probably be doing this one. This is Gratitude Documented from Illustrated Faith. And basically it gives you 30 days of, of scriptures, God winks, of things to be gra grateful for, his rainbows, his, our, our, his meekness, all of these things. And so I always kind of include this in one. I will also be making her a divider because obviously this one did, does not come with one. So I'll be making uh, dividers. Um, are those dividers? Those are tabs. Okay. So I'll be placing so them. Now mine has songs. Okay. And this was what I needed. Uh, this song is what blessed me and whatever else. I could put a place for songs. It's truly a uh, thought right now. Uh, I haven't got that far yet. And so what I do is I, I, uh, and I wasn't trying to do a flip through of this again, but, um, but I guess you guys haven't seen it since I finished it or, or started working on it. Um, and this will never be finished. This is a work in progress. I'm always doing something in here. Um, so what I've done is I, I printed songs and then I journal about what that song means to me. Like, uh, I, one of my favorite scriptures is no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And so Fred Hammond's song, uh, no weapon. So the song is over here. And then, um, I wrote about what, what this song means to me. This song is my daily war cry. And so, um, so I've done that over here, but again, this is mine. So this is what works for me and great works by, if you haven't seen my, my, um, Bible journal entry about great works. This is where that came from. And then here is me journaling about it. And so, um, and that's what I did. And then also there is a devotional on my website. At, if you go on my website at the bottom of it, and it's called, this means war. We fight our battles on our knees and there is a devotional in there. Okay. I will include this devotional in the and the page. I may redo this one because when I did this one the very first time, the background of this is was to match this one. And I may do one that matches my my um devotional cards. And um so but um I am this one here because I had to fit it in here. I had to cut it and make it fit. I will probably print one that is the size of of the classic happy planner. So that's basically, um, well, there's some other things that I can probably do. There's a pocket that I generally do that I can put cards in. There's a lot of different things. So if you have ideas, the thoughts, um, go ahead and put them in, um, the description, I mean, in, in the comments so that I know what your thoughts is and what you would like to see me do for my patron. Okay. And so, um, this has been, um, just a quick video. I don't know how about quick it is where I'm showing you that I'm getting ready to do a war binder from one of my patrons. If you're interested in my patrons, go ahead and check that out. Um, any questions, or if you want me to do one just for you, then you don't want to be a patron. They are, um, they actually, um, the service is on my, in my store as well. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to do something a little different to show you what's going on, what's coming down the pipeline. Uh, and also I love doing these videos because it motivates me to get things done. Okay. If I have put out a video and I told you I'm going to do something and it kind of keeps me uh, accountable for doing exactly what I said that I was going to do. So this has been all about war binders. If you want that series, go ahead and let me know. Come on, comment, tell me about it. Uh, so this has been great. I enjoyed it and I hope you have too. If you did, hit that like button. While you're at it, why don't you subscribe so that you'll be a part of all that I'm doing here at Raylene Creates. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you'll be notified the next time that I upload a video. And remember, as I encourage you, I encourage myself. Be blessed.